at stupid D and stupid dumb. They think they're super cool. Look at this one. He's done smashed his car. Look. Look, he done smashed his car. Look, he's sliding. Oh, I'm so sorry, stupid. Yeah, big semi-truck sitting in the middle of the road for no reason. We'll just go right around him. No problem. <laughs> what a moron. Oh, sorry. You're off. You're not going anywhere. Ah, oh, now you're really screwed. Sorry about your luck. Now you can't even get out your car now. You're really stuck. <laughs> oh, we'll just push it. Watch this. Well, I thought my savior had arrived, but he just plowed right around me. He went on the right side of us and plowed, and he's dumping salt. I'm hoping he's going to come back and come down the left side of me and dump a lot of salt because that's the only way we're getting out of here. Now we got this other driver up here. He's going to try to back out onto where that guy just put salt down. He's going to jackknife himself right down in the woods. He don't be be careful. Watch what he's doing. Uh, this sucks. Here comes another one. Oh, he's going to make it. He's a much better driver than the last one, but he didn't make it. He's stuck now. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he's going to make it. He's going to make it. <laughs> if he let off the gas, he'd quit spinning and probably, well, he's not going to make it now. Now he done stuck himself. I hope he slides into me. <laughs> I'm just itching for some good YouTube footage. Man, I'm willing to do anything for you guys, man. I am completely willing to wreck other people's vehicles. I will do whatever it takes. <laughs> now he's stuck. He's stuck and shit. He's going to be mad that I'm filming and watch him. Don't you film me. I'm going to put you dumb bastards on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Well, here's that other semi-truck. You see him up there? He's trying to back out where that other guy put down the salt but he's going to get himself screwed in a hurry. So, I don't know. Just wait and see what happens. Keep you updated.
Well, I'm tired of sitting here, so we're going to try something. That didn't work, obviously. Well, now we're in a worse predicament than we were in before. <laughs> oh, freak. Maybe if I block the whole freaking road, then they'll send somebody up here. But as long as these people are getting around us, I think they're content just to ignore us trucks stuck on this hill, because now there's five of us stuck here. So, we'll just keep trying it, I guess. We almost made it, but not quite. We're stuck. Oh well, we tried. We gave it a trucker try. Alright. So I went out and moved some of the slush out from around my tires and shit, threw some gravel in the path of my tires. If I can get over here to the shoulder, we can get on this gravel and we're out of here. Keep your fingers crossed. See what kind of a truck driver I really am. Probably just a sissy, but keep your fingers crossed anyway.
stupid ass going to try to come around me in this car. I'm doing everything I can to keep them from being able to get around me now. I don't even care if I get out of here or not. They ain't coming around me. People are idiots. Sitting there watching you try to get unstuck. You're in a semi-tanker on a hill full of ice and you're going to try to squeeze around me. I know that guy is just trying to help, but I was out of here three or four times now, and he just steps right in front of me trying to guide me up the road. And then I have to stop, and now I'm stuck again. Stupid goddamn people. Ugh. Well, <clears throat> had the highway patrol show up now. They're making assault the trucks go up and down the highway, up and down the hill here. But it ain't done me a whole lot of good yet. And I don't know if you can see, but now there's like seven of us. Yeah, we're all lined up down the, down the mountain. They're all over the place stuck. And, uh, yeah. Good times, Bubba. There's a semi-truck. If you look where that pickup truck is at right now, right to the right of the, the highway patrol guy, you see that headlight? Well, that's a semi-truck that was coming down the hill about 35 mile an hour, slid to a jackknifing stop and almost rear-ended the semi, or uh, the state highway patrol guy. That was almost catastrophic. So, yeah. Tanker trucking in the winter, guys. Come on out. It's fun. The water's nice. Jump on in. Let's go. All right. Now they're going to use the uh, plow truck to pull that trailer back onto the road so he's straight again. And he should be able to get out of my way at that point, I hope. Watch this. No chance this goes bad. 
Here comes the officer down here now. He's going to bother me, probably. There he goes. Look at him pull that thing. See him? Oh, he done tore his truck up. <laughs> Oopsie. What do he do? I don't know what happened. Why did he stop? Come on. Try it again. My loyal followers would like to see you rip his bumper off, please. If you would. Mm. They giving up? Can't give up that easy. Come on now. You ain't even tore nothing up yet. No. Oh, here we go. Now we got two chains. Why didn't we put two chains on the first time, moron? <laughs> Moronathon. Boy, there's like uh, 13 trucks now sitting on this hill. It's so foggy you can't see them behind me or I'd get out and show you. But you can only see about one truck behind me. The truck behind him is completely invisible because of the fog. But yeah, this whole highway is... Uh, tore up and we're not even like I said we're not even to the good shit yet it's probably going to get nothing but much worse as we get closer to Elkins because we're in the like the foothills of the mountain right now we're not even in the mountain yet and then we got to go down cheat mountain which is going to be no fun it, it's never no fun all right here we go round two let's see come on there he goes. There you go. A little farther. Come on. Now he's going to back him up probably. He'll probably have that driver back up now. And then maybe pull him over again from there. Once he gets that trailer back around underneath the tractor, he should be fine. Because the road is dry up there now just about. Well, not dry, but uh, wet. You know what I mean? No snow or slush salt truck went up there and went up and down three times. That's about 35 minutes ago now, but yeah, he should, should be good to go. Uh oh, we're getting another chain now, it looks like. All right, let me see what I can do now. Maybe I can get out of the way once he moves. Maybe I can get unstuck. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we're still here. They've got him out of the ditch now, but now he's backed up against the guardrail where he can't come back any farther. So if he can't go forward now, we got a real problem. Because not only uh, will he not be able to go forward and he'll need a tow truck, but he'll have to get a tow truck from the other end. So they'll have to drive clear up 92 and come around from the other side because you can't even get... You can't even get around them now, so. This is what it is to be a truck driver, guys. You guys, you know, going into school and you watch some of my videos and some other guys' videos like uh, Trucking Biker 1967 and uh, I don't know who are some of my trucker guys out there. Uh, Cali Trucker 1, uh, you know, guys like that. You guys watch the videos and think it's nothing but good times out here but this is real life trucking right here this is the reality of trucking you know this is what what really goes on uh yeah so if you guys ain't into this i mean, this, I mean don't get me wrong this isn't like the everyday thing but this stuff happens out here this is you know this is just one of many 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 things that can go wrong in the real life of a trucker not not the sugar-coated cookie crap you see. Anyway, that's, you know, whatever. I'm babbling. I'm babbling, damn it, because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> While you're waiting, here, enjoy some infomercials. No, wait a minute. I don't think I got any infomercials. Never mind. Just keep watching. Our first smart, smart guy, he's going to back down here in front of me and lay down a hell of a lot of gravel. So now we got two salt shakers on the scene. 
This guy still hasn't got out of my way yet. So, we might be out of here in a minute. We'll see. See how it goes. All right, guys. Uh, they just put down about four tons of salt and, and sand and gravel in front of me. They got this guy out the way. So here we go. Here goes nothing. There goes nothing, but I hope it ain't nothing. I hope we get out of here. Let's go. Keep your fingers crossed. Going nowhere, 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 nowhere. Stick around, guys. The guy with the shovel there, you're going to see me beat him with it here in about 10 minutes. He keep running his mouth, I'm going to beat him with his own shovel because I just about had enough of his attitude. He can go on down the damn road shut his goddamn mouth because I'm telling you, oh, I've just about had it. You don't even need to be here. <laughs> 